Well, now we're gonna apply the finish to the toy chest, and I've got my lovely wife, Nicole, here with me. Hello. She's actually gonna do the painting. Thing is, she wants it painted. I tend to not like painted pieces, so I said, look, you want it painted, lady. You're doing it yourself. I will do it myself. And that's why she's here. <laughs> All right, and what we're gonna use is a product called Milk Paint. Now, true milk paint is really interesting. It actually predates history, recorded history. This is stuff that was used back in ancient times because it's a very basic formulation made with milk protein, uh, lime, and then pigments added for color. All right, so it's actually a pretty durable finish, but we will be adding an additional uh, water-based acrylic on top of it for extra protection because it's going to be around a toddler. Yes. So, just in case. All right. He does like milk. He does enjoy milk. He might start <laughs> trying to liquefy this stuff and, and drink it. We'll catch him over there just going, bleh, 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 licking it. So yeah, protect it. Uh, it's usually not very water resistant. So some of uh, uh, polyurethane, water-based polyurethane is a good choice. All right, so we're gonna mix it up. I'm actually getting the heck out of here. This is all you now, so. It's me, let's go. Have a good time. Milk paint comes in all kinds of colors and you can mix them to your liking. We're using one scoop of white with one scoop of pumpkin, the color my son picked out. Mix the colors thoroughly and then add an equal amount of water. And warm water seems to work best. Add about three quarters of the water and mix to a consistent paste. Then add the remaining water to get a nice paintable consistency. And yes, a round bowl would have been much easier to work with. The great thing about milk paint is that you can dilute it as far as you want, anywhere from a light stain effect to a heavy thick coat of paint. We decide to add in a product called Extra Bond, which should help the first coat bind better to the birch plywood in our toy chest. One scoop will do. Now mix for a few minutes, and be patient. Once mixed thoroughly, let the paint sit for about 10 minutes. We're going for a bit of a rustic look, so inexpensive chip brushes do the trick, and we don't feel the need to be too careful about hiding brush marks. If you're new to milk paint, start on the bottom of the case so that you can get to know the product. As the paint dries, it should take on a dull, chalky appearance. We're painting the entire case inside and out. After a few hours, the first coat can be sanded. Now, no one likes sanding, but Nicole's a champ, and she doesn't mind getting her hands dirty. Vacuum the dust with a soft brush attachment and then mix up another batch of paint. Two things are different this time. We no longer need the Extra Bond product, and we're leaving out the white color. We didn't really like the color as much as we thought we would, which is something that can definitely happen with milk paint. You'll find the second coat goes on much easier than the first. After an overnight dry time, we get some acrylic water-based poly ready. We don't want much of a shine, so satin will do nicely. Coat the entire project thoroughly with a decent synthetic bristle brush. Keep in mind, the first coat will look like crap. Don't fret, once the first coat dries, give it a light sanding with 320 grit and then proceed with the second and final coat. The second coat looks much more even and consistent, but since we're dealing with milk paint, don't expect perfection. This is a much more earthy product than most are used to.